All right, guys, so it's been a while since I filmed the video, and today we're gonna do my five best catches of 2019 and some leftover footage that didn't make it into actual videos, catches, mistakes, stuff like that. But we're gonna do that once we get down to the other lake. Right now we're just kinda hitting all these corners, all these little spots trying to see if there's any bass coming up close to shoreline yet this time of year. I still feel like it's super cold. It's like 35 out right now, so I'm guessing a lot of them are gonna be out deep. Whoa, no way guys, that tree fell down. If you don't notice from a lot of my old videos, that's gonna be really good for this spot this year, I think actually for bass fishing. That being said, we'll jump right into video number five on the list. Let me go to my notes. Wow, it's cold out here, I'm getting the sniffles. All right, so for number five on this list, it's actually about 20, 15 yards to the right of me of where this happened. I actually caught a, was unexpected. I caught about a two pound bass right before this clip and it was, it was fun, it was a nice catch. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, I'm feeling these little bites. I'm thinking it's a perch, there's a lot of perch in here. And then bam, I pull up, <laughs> it's a damn trout. First time ever catching a trout on a Cinco, so let me roll that clip. Hope you guys enjoy it. This is number five. I got a trout on a Cinco. All right, yeah, see, pretty crazy. And that would be higher up on my list if you would've went back right after I filmed the video, but I've caught more trout on Cinco since, so it's really not that impressive. <laughs> and then, on to number four. This one is actually right across from me, looking over at this uh, little sand hill bank. Used to hook into pound two pounders there so went down there one day with the same pole i'm using actually just a different reel different pole obviously but uh went down there with guggen baits threw some guggens on and <laughs> throw my cinco back out all of a sudden my line goes tight pull it in it set the hook good everything feels good and then all of a sudden my reel breaks maybe three reels into it so i end up debating on hand lining it in or trying to reel it as possible like as much as i could and i ended up reeling it in as much as i could i got the fish in i landed it and uh, i'll show you the video and the footage or the picture of that so yeah i hope you enjoyed that one that one was uh kind of up there because to be honest if it was to happen again i don't know how i'd <laughs> really if i'd want to hand line it or i don't know i'd be back in the same situation so it's kind of one of those one of those weird ones but here's the clip hope you enjoy Now that we're done with that, we got, now we are onto some smallmouth bass fishing. This is actually my first time like ever really going out and targeting smallmouth bass. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> it was a trip of a lifetime. This is one of those ones, like being there with family made it even better. So if you guys get the opportunity to ever fish something like this, definitely do. And especially with your, if you're with family, makes it even better. But getting into that, this is smallmouth fishing on Umpqua River, probably, 50 fish in a day. <laughs> Here we go. Look at 
that right there. There we go. Oh. And these aren't bad. Hey. Ow. I think you didn't get hooked in your gills. Now we're done with number three. It gets into the, this one was a, this is a real tough decision here. But I thought about it for a little while. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with my decision of number two and number one. Number two, all right, so the reason I picked number two, this catch for number two, is because I've, it was really unexpected. It was the first time I had hit one that size on that lake, which really got me stoked. But I could go back out there and next year and still even this year I'd go out there today and still be able to pull out that same size of fish now that I know they're in there and I can target pretty much the good spots that I've seen them so that's the reason this is number two but this is the three pound nine ounce bass that I ended up catching unexpectedly nine o'clock in the morning just throwing a cinco out there rastafarian looking damn cinco it's red and orange and black and didn't think I was gonna catch a fish on it. And then all of a sudden I caught this monster. And you can tell by the way I freak out in the video, this was a good fish. Oh my God. Oh my God, Chris, bring my backpack. Yeah, bring my backpack. I need my scale. I just got like a five pounder. Oh my God, this has me shaking. Three point two, I guess. I guess that might be right on the money. It just seems a lot bigger. Hopefully this thing, there's more in here just like it. That's a nice fish. All right, I'll tell you what, that was a crazy catch. That, it was awesome the feeling of pulling that one in and it hit like almost as soon as I my Cinco hit the water or my stick bait hit the water and that, that fish was only in probably two feet of water so that was an awesome catch I really enjoyed that one but on to number one this one was I caught it two probably three days right before I caught that bass so it it's really more unexpected than that bass but this I was just fishing for some trout didn't catch any the entire day and just had some power bait on just throwing it out all of a sudden i see my steelhead pull start bing 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 i'm like oh nice little trout start reeling it in i'm thinking oh this thing because i'm using my steelhead pull it's a big seven foot seven and a half foot rod really nice and light flimsy didn't feel like a big fish i pull it in i'm used to seeing the silver come in oh this thing was dark and <laughs> this is what happened next I couldn't believe I caught that on a power bait, man. See, that is why that is my PB for uh, any lake trout or like anything of rainbow trout or anything like that instead of steelhead. But I had to tag that one as a steelhead. Obviously, it was over 20 inches. But the re that fish, the reason it's number one is right now, I still don't think I could go out there and try, even if I was targeting it with shrimp, roe, anything of steelhead, I'm still not positive that I would catch a fish like that which really makes me want to go back and 
Wish I could have got that thing mounted, but I didn't. So that's about it. Those are my top five videos for 2019. And to wrap it up, we're gonna show you all the mistakes, all the cutouts, some extra catches that weren't put in the videos. And that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys like all these fuck ups and mishaps and catches you didn't get to see. See you guys in the next video.